Lindsay with Essen, and today we're going to carve a bird. The first thing that I do, and we're dealing today with about a 13 pound turkey, but this could be a three pound chicken, it wouldn't matter. First thing that I do is I take the extremities off the bird. And so what do I mean by that? Well, first we're going to take off the leg and the thigh. And we're just going to cut through the skin and loosen it. And this is a well-cooked bird, so that loosens really easily. And then I'm going to go around to the back and I'm going to take off the wings. And I just make a nice little cut where I know that the bones would be separating. Use my hands to pull apart the meat and voila, first wing off. I'm just gonna do one side here. Now, pretend I have the second wing off. I'm going to separate the white meat and dark meat. Put the white meat to the side. And now we're going to separate all the dark meat. So I can easily flatten the two thighs and then I can cut the drumstick or the leg right off. Both of our drumsticks are now off, so now we're just going to separate the thigh. Some people do like to carve the thigh meat off the bone, but I know in my family there's always somebody who loves gnawing on that thigh. So all I'm going to do is use my hands, crack it apart, Okay, you could cut the skin, but I have my hands here, so why not rip it apart? And I'm going to put it right on the platter. Okay, I'll carve the other one just to show you what it could look like. You just pull off that bottom bone, and then you can simply have some nice big chunks of dark meat. I like to keep the skin on it because we have some skin eaters in our family, and you have nice, beautiful, golden brown, crispy skin. Who wouldn't want to eat that? All right, that's all out of the way. Now let's get to the part that seems to be the most confusing for people, which is how to carve the breast. So we all know the Norman Rockwell image where we take the knife and everybody's standing at the table watching as the turkey is carved and grandpa's sitting there making nice slices. You've put in all this work, you have an amazing juicy turkey, you brined it, you cooked it the right amount of time, and now you've just ruined your white meat. Because you're cutting with the grain, you'll have dry grainy uh, turkey. If you want to have nice, moist, juicy turkey that you've worked towards, all you need to do is actually carve the breast halves right off the bird. And all I'm doing is here is uh, the breastbone here. I'm putting my knife on one side of the breastbone, the side closest to me, and I'm just carving right inside that area. And then I'm able to just pull it apart. I want to carve it a little bit more. It's going to come off beautifully. Get my knife down in there. So now I've got a half a breast. I put it onto my cutting board. I turn it so it's going across the board. And now I like to make nice, big, thick, beautiful slices against the grain. And I will have that nice, beautiful, juicy turkey that I've worked so hard to make. And then we can put it right onto our platter. So, Today I've shown you step-by-step step how to carve a turkey. You can find these steps plus the recipe for my famous two-hour turkey on susquehannastyle.com. Have an Essen day.